In this tutorial, I will show you how to use line charts. Let's create a new project. I'm using uh, Java 17. No dependencies. Let's look at uh, project structure. We have um, application controller and then a uh, module. Let's remove it. I prefer not to do modular programming. Let's uh, rename it. Change the application. I will change to controller. Last one, uh, FXML. I will change to view dot FXML. Okay, to refactor. Title I will change to line chart. Okay, this time we are going to add JavaFX uh, library. Project structure libraries. Let's remove uh, Maven libraries. Go to Java. Program files, Java. This is where I save my Java FX SDK 17. Select the library. OK. So Java FX 17 library. Oh, apply. OK. Let's open FXML in SimBuilder. Controller copy. Let me delete. I prefer to use our uh, anchor paint. Let's go to controller and then make sure you select the same thing. Let me uh, add line chart. This is about average um, high and low temperature of um, uh, months. FX ID, I will say um, line chart. This is actually X axis. You represent months. Y axis represent uh, temperature. Okay, let's say it. Go to FXML. Add data field. Change the product. Then we can add FXML annotations. This is the second one, the last one. 
So there are three effects I missed. We don't use this as such, so let's remove. Let's implement uh, initializable. Then implement abstract method called initialize. This is so we are going to um, set up line chart. We can have a string, then double. So you represent uh, them of the months, uh, double represent uh, temperature of the months, generic type, semicolon. We can set the name of this series. I will say hi. Then we can add uh, data to this series. So series I get data, then add new XY chart. Data here double value, oh sorry, a string value. January and then temperature of uh, January. Let me copy paste it. Then change to uh, February. And then match, okay. Okay, we can have one more series called uh, low temperature. Let me change to low. Then we can add uh, two series to line chart. Okay, let's build this project. So there is imperable type. Um, I supposed to use double, but I use uh, integer. So let's change to uh, 28.0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, I will do the same. Okay, build complete. Before we learn it, we need to edit configurations. Add new configuration, application. This is a main application. And let me select application. Then um, add VM options. We can add module pass to your JavaFX library. In my case, it's um, 17 in the library. 
add models, three of them, SubFX controls, and then FXML and graphics. Apply, OK. So as you can see, we have a high and low, and then low temperature, and we have uh, our months, the y-axis temperature. OK, that's uh, how it looks like a line chart with two series, but um, if you look at the source code, there is actually minor kind of mistake in terms of uh, naming conventions. So if you look at here, um, let's open it with uh, SimBuilder. So if you look at um, months, OK, temperature, OK, FX ID, this should be Y axis. Again, you don't have to change if you don't want to. But uh, by uh, name convention, I prefer to change. So let's go back to FX ML. So Y axis, create a new data period. Then we can change to private. Or maybe we can add uh, FXML annotations. I advise you um, use Java Sim Builder instead of uh, editing manually. Okay, that may create the problems. Uh, that's it. So if you rebuild this project, everything should be OK. OK, let's run it. So we have a two series, high and low, OK, X and Y. Everything looks exactly the same. That's all for today. Thank you.